Good afternoon, everyone. This is Saro, our Canadian State Clinical Pharmacy. So, what medications can cause hyperkalemia? In other videos, I've talked about the hyperkalemia signs and symptoms that you have to watch out for. In this video, I want to discuss what medications can cause too much potassium in your body or hyperkalemia. Uh, blood pressure, some of the blood pressure medications that can cause um, high potassium includes ACE inhibitors such as benazepril or enalapril or ramipril. Uh, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers, ARBs, um, may include candesartan, losartan, and telmisartan. Beta blockers such as atenolol, metoprolol, uh, and propranolol. Uh, calcium channel blockers such as amlodipine, daltazam, or uh, procardia or nifedipine. And direct renin inhibitors such as, such as alisterinin or hectruna. Uh, so uh, another list of medications that can, that can cause hyperkalemia includes potassium sparing diuretics. These include amyloride, midamor, eflerinone, spironolactone, and triamtrine. Again, this is a summary information about medications that can cause hyperkalemia. The main ones, including the blood pressure medications, uh, I mentioned ACE, ARBs, uh, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and direct renin inhibitors as well as the potassium sparing diuretics, obviously, that spare the potassium in the body. And these include flarinone, spironolactone, amyloride, and triamterine. Uh, for more questions about uh, these medications, make sure to um, comment on the video, like the video, comment on the video with your questions, and I'll be happy to um, explain more in details about the specific questions you may have on these medications that cause hyperkalemia. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay safe and take your medications.